briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1988, the Supreme Court of Indiana heard the case of Creasy v. State, which focused on whether sufficient evidence was present to uphold a burglary conviction and a related 14-year imprisonment sentence. The case involved Kevin D. Creasy, who broke into a sorority house in West Lafayette and was found in the basement with stolen property, including a knife, apron strings, and a t-shirt belonging to one of the residents. Creasy appealed his conviction and sentence, arguing that there wasn't enough evidence to prove breaking or intent to commit a felony, and that the trial court imposed improper aggravating circumstances resulting in an unreasonable sentence. The appellate court took into consideration Creasy's claims, alongside the facts of the case, and ultimately upheld the conviction and sentence. The court deemed the evidence sufficient, as opening an unlocked door or pushing open a slightly ajar door constitutes breaking. The court also found that Creasy's intent to commit a felony could be inferred from the circumstantial evidence of the nature of the crime, given that he was found with the stolen property. In addition to the standard sentence for Class B burglary, Creasy received an additional four years for aggravating circumstances, such as the appellant's past record of criminal behavior, the threat of potential harm, and the likelihood of repeated behavior. The court found these factors reasonable, affirmed the trial court's decision, and concluded that the 14-year imprisonment sentence fell within legal bounds. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsc.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.